So when I started barber school, I got this big ass duffel bag and no one wants to use that. So I'm gonna show you guys a really cheap way to make a barber case. If you go to any supply store, you'll see barber cases range from like 150 to way over 200 and you just don't need that, especially if you're first starting out. You don't really have that many clients or not making that much money. So let's go inside, I'm gonna show you guys the store. So mine in barber school was $20. This one looks a little different, but it's the same concept. Let's see if we're gonna stay in the $20 range or not. So I got the receipt right here. You guys can see, spent 35 bucks. But all those barber cases go for at least 150 all the way up into the like 250s, 220 So 35 bucks. let's go home and convert this thing into a barber case. All right, so we got it now at home. I'm going to take this plastic wrapping off. Rip this off. All right. So that's just glue. So far, the quality of this, to be honest, is way better. So this was 10 or 15 bucks more than mine was when I first started barber school. But of course, with everything like going up with prices and stuff, I'm not surprised that it's more money. But it does come with the key so you can lock your stuff in it. And um, the quality feels really, really good. So with these, you can just go like this. It comes down. Same thing on this side. Comes down. Let's see what it looks like in here. Oh, yeah. You can make with this. All right, so this is the strap, but fuck that shit. And then these are the dividers. I used to use these, but I don't use them as much anymore. It's all preference. And this nasty shit. Yo, to be honest though, these feel pretty good. Like, all the quality is there. So mine didn't come with this little foam piece, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this out. And then it leaves me with this and this. All right, so since we're not gonna use this, I mean, you can use it if you want, but I'm gonna divide them up like this and I'll show you each different way. So there's slots in here and then you can just connect it using these things. And you just place them in the slot so they don't go nowhere. So I like making a slot for my combs. And then um, one a little bit bigger for uh, my clippers. So I'll make one like that big for my clippers. A little bit bigger. And then you can have some going this way or whatever. But... I don't think I'm going to use these. I think I'm going to just do one, two, three. But save these because I did so many different things with my barber case. And then I threw mine out. So I'm going to save these. So I'm going to go grab some stuff. Show you how I would place it in. The only thing that is different is the this was the silver color. And I didn't have these pads behind it. So it was better quality. But it was, you know, an extra $15. But this will hold everything. Literally. It can hold your whole barber school kit. All your products, whatever, whatever. Most of it if, if, if you have just an absurd amount of stuff. So, so this works perfect. I got my water bottle. I'm going to place that in there. The audio messed up a little bit on this part, but this is my old neck duster from school, and I just put it right next to the bottle. For my clippers and stuff, I'm going to put them in here. Mine are corded. It is a little bit harder when you do have corded stuff, but you can make it work. I just hate messing with cords. That's it. So, I'm going to go ahead and why are you throwing cords up or whatever i'm gonna go ahead and place that right there then i got my andis ti liners custom cut it from right next to them whatever like i said see how much like room the cords take up like if you had um, if I had like my baby list stuff, it'd be a little easier to tell you, but it's good because cord stuff still fits. Got my wall five star shaver. I'm gonna put that right in here. I'll show you guys the final, you know, afterwards. Styling powder, level three. Go ahead and put that in there. Now I've got a bunch of different combs, a lot of combs, like two each. We'll go put that stuff right in there. So 
the the these guards just keep it everything from mixing in between and it being messy. Okay, but you can't take them out if you want. I've had it both ways. We add two extra cones because why the hell not? Then we got a little cleaning brush or whatever. We can put that on this side because I put everything on one side. So now I got my shears. So these little pockets, you could put a bunch of stuff in them. I usually put like my grips, my clips. Um, if I have metal combs, you can put your metal combs in here. Your shears right here. You just move it. This is all leather. See, mine wasn't leather like that. Mine was a little different. I almost like this case better. Here we got all the combs. Boom. Shaver. Styling dust. Trimmers and clippers or clippers and trimmers whatever right so this is literally your basic setup in here and look how much space i have this is a full water bottle i'm telling you guys i'll throw in a clip right now and this that clip is a lot of my stuff in my case so you guys can see the difference a little bit so you know for some of my barbers that are just starting out maybe you're in barber school and you got that same gigantic bag that i had that, by the way, I got a really good story time um, on that bag. And you just want to get something a little more slick, a little more new, a little more cool, you know, new generation type thing or whatever you call it. Just, you know, something a little more new. This is the way to go. I know when I got into barber school, obviously, if you guys have been following my journey, I was not, I knew nothing about cutting hair. So I didn't have any clients. You know, I wasn't doing really free haircuts like that you know, outside of school. So when I got into a barbershop, I had, you know, I started from nothing. This is a great alternative if you don't want to spend 140, 200, 250 on a barber case that does the exact same thing. I'm actually doing another clip. I found something very similar to this case, what it looks like in everything for like 140 bucks. And it's just not worth it because this does everything that a barber case can do. Sometimes they're a little thinner or whatever. And when you get kind of down to the nitty gritty, yeah, you want to get yourself you know, a real barber's case, but this can do it. This is a really good, cheap alternative. It's 35 bucks, you know. Um, I'm sure you probably can find one cheaper, maybe the same one that I had, which was the clip before. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You got the keys to lock your stuff, so if you gotta leave it somewhere, which, I mean, I guess it's kinda dumb because if you leave it, it's not very hard to just pick it up, but um, whatever, it, it works. It definitely works so i hope you guys enjoyed the video so if you guys want to win this barber case right here that i have and make it your own all you got to do is comment win hey yo we back with the messed up audio basically just follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok and make sure you subscribe to me on youtube and dm me proof and that will enter you in and this right here can be yours i would love to give it to a new barber and yeah let's let's see what we can do let's let's get this giveaway going of course it will be shipped right to you or maybe you will be local so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video it's a1 we out